This is my hand, this is my body on which I stand This is my breath that follows me round until my death This is my hair that falls to the ground is Jack is now one and he's changed so, so much Maybe it's because I'm not at home with him every day but I just feel like he's really entered a new phase now where he's a proper person and I can tell what he wants and what he needs. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of go back to capturing some of that because I've really been missing it. I don't think we've got a particularly exciting day planned. We are pottering around here, which is now a plan because I love a potter. Um, yeah. He's all babbly and cute and his main word is da. So everything is da. I thought I would quickly show you a couple of my favourite things that Jack got for his first birthday. So this. This little cute wooden trike thing. Also from Asda. Asda Who Knew It does the best toys for babies and these two toys I absolutely love. They're really reasonable. I'll link to them below. I spend a lot of my life hanging out with this house. Right, it's 10.20 and Jack is now sleeping. He doesn't sleep in his cot. It's just a really bad habit that we've got into. He sleeps in his buggy. Just because the rocking used to get him to sleep Anyway, I had a really nice morning doing stuff. I got this really overwhelming feeling of just, ah, there's so much to do. You know when all your little to-do things just pile up in your head and then begin to like squash you down? Uh, that's what was happening with me and I just get really overwhelmed and then I was like, ah, what am I doing? I'm here. But as a mum, like it's always this battle other mums will know to see how much you can get done whilst they're still awake and like just pottering around and playing and how you can just maybe quickly fire out that one email or whatever. My monkey's woken up from his nap. Daisy Wanted to quickly show you. Jack, will you show how many teeth you've got? You show? Jack has five teeth, which is really exciting. Whilst Jack is hanging out with the tape measure, <laughs> You're right there, Jack Jack. You're right there. I thought I would show you my favourite website at the moment. It's called Bring Your Own Baby. And it is focused on adults that live in London, but it's so good. It basically breaks down everything that's going on into arts, music, film, lifestyle, health, fitness, and then stuff just for babies all through London town. So if I click on what's on, you can then search by area and it pulls up all those activities near to you. And my favourite feature is that you can plan your day and so it tells you on a day-to-day -day basis all the cool stuff going on and that's all the little categories again. And then, oh, what else does it do? There's a forum, there's specific events, news, Now we can see the breath of the future is in you and me the breath of the future is in you and me. Are you my snotty nosed, strawberry faced, peanut butter sandwich clutching baby? Yes. Beautiful, reserved customers for the children. That's a really bad park, but look, it's so close to Waitrose. Oh, the small things. Are you having fun? Ah. Fred and Jackie? Ah. I think what he's saying is that Waitrose is really expensive. Right, we've come to my favourite walk, which we haven't done in ages actually, which is literally just down the road. Bloody love garden centres. Such a geek. Happy 
your baby. I just had to wake him up because he fell asleep on the way home. We went to visit Sam's grandma. <laughs> Not very happy at all. What are we going to have for dinner? Jack does this sort of like, we hey, what's up? Dreams really do come true. Ooh, 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 someday I wish upon a star. Wake up.